Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here, but there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Boring. Boring. I have to get through this monster padlock first. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope.
This tractor has paid its dues. So many haystacks, so few needles. Old, old. Ah, oh, the good old days. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Watch us. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Here's the other end of the rope. Be careful up there, Max. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry.
Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. So that didn't work at all. Please be careful up there, Max. strikes again. to say how weird this is he just did who built this kind of place a press god of course this bunker is so surreal First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Serious door. Where's the game? And off when I need him. about home on the range. 
I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? The only reason to build a secret bunker under an abandoned farm is to do bad shit. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Wrong code. You can do it, Max.
didn't work. You locked it, dumbass. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh, think, think. <sighs> Wrong code. <sighs> you can do it, Max. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. You locked it, the mass. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Can you imagine chilling in this room? That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. Everything is sketchy as fuck, but nothing about Rachel here. Somebody likes their whiskey. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Uh, this picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. Tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs>
Do you need to find Nathan and take him down? I will get revenge for Kate and Rachel. If it's the last thing I do. Hi, Daniel. Yes! Max makes an entrance! <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm... I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale brain. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. So why are you here tonight? No homework, boredom, waiting. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise. Kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, so are uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh, man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, brother Lou. OK, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you and for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. Bigfoot on otter action.
Give the girl a... all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, don't print. I shall be telling this with a sign. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me, so please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? God, are you mental? You can't come in. Excuse me, but... If I get sick, yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds 
different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes! Gross! How did this hour. even get here? Good night, sweet Maybe prince. You're not the only one who has to get sick. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Chloe must be around. is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me and everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? 
some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw and heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at the party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around him. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking Sula. lame and lazy, Sula. Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, Sula. please don't do Sula. this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Nine, nine, nine is Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if you finally show up. Adios. Okay, I try.